random video. I found my old collection of Mad Magazines in the garage when I was cleaning it. I only have 20 issues of them, but my earliest issue was from 1974. I wasn't born yet. It was from a, a garage sale. I did not store them like a professional collector either because I was just a kid who liked Mad Magazine. An old, old bedsheet container. So I only have 20 issues. The, the timeline jumps, like I just, bought them when I thought of it and when I was there, you know, like I didn't seek them out, but when I saw them I was like, you know what? I want one of those. I'm only going to show the covers for now because there's a lot of stuff to look at. Um, and I have a few collector's editions. This one's a fun one because everybody loved the show so much. They might appreciate it. And it says display until 12, 18, 2015. Which... This little Breaking Bad reference. August 2014. Special Collective Edition, The 100 Dumbest People, Events, and Things of the Century So Far. Appropriate. We have October 1996. There's a big chunk of time. We have here September 1996. There's an eight year difference between that last issue and then this one. 1996. So we went from 2014 to 1996. This was the deal. 1996 also. Oh, the things that people gave a shit about. Super special issue. I think this cover is a recreation of a, a very old issue cover talking about like possibly from like the 1950s or 60s or something. This is a recreation. 1996. We have May 1996. <laughs> yeah, they're not the only ones. Um, <laughs> this is actually the year before I graduated, so. We were all, I think we were all a little doomed, huh? Happy, Big Bad Mad, March 1996, super special. Cool King Kong action. 1995. <laughs> Sorry, I had to read the back of that one. Um, June 1995. Gosh, and this is from Tower Records. <laughs> if you don't know, it's, it's okay. You didn't grow up on Long Island, it's all right. <laughs> Just, it was that record shop. And it was like... uh, early fall, 1994. Super special, super special classics, old movies. Your favorite place. We got 1994 again, September 1994. Wow. Oh, my God. So this is so not fascinating, I know. We'll go through them quick. We got January 1994. Collector series. October 1993, Alfred E. Newman look-alike. If you don't know who Alfred E. Newman is, it's the guy who's always on the cover of the Mad Magazine. In this case, his head is turned, but he's on every single cover otherwise. And then April 1993 issue. That's Alfred E. Newman, that face. I made a fake commercial around this time, actually, because troll dolls were so big. And I made a commercial being like, besides, and I listed all the weird things about them. I was like, they're super cute, because I never liked troll dolls. I was the only person in the 90s who was just like, oh, with a lot of stuff like that. 
I don't begrudge anyone else having their 50 million troll dolls. I had one because I thought it was fun to have it, but I did not want to collect them. Some of them are just freaking weird. I have March 1993, super special. <laughs> I love what's being filled in there. The muck. Oh my gosh, I just saw the back of another one. That one's that's dark. Especially even after that time. January 1993. Um January, then why? Well, whatever. Um as you can see, some of these are falling apart and they were stapled because as a kid no one tells you to hold on to these, preserve these things if they don't know, they don't care, it's just, you're a kid. It's a pretty cool pumpkin. This one is falling apart, even the staples. There you go. This is December 1992. My husband's playing D&D in the next room, if you hear stuff. Topical, very topical. Both of them were fake Norman Rockwell uh, pictures, and they're just they're messed up. Okay, October 1992. <laughs> we're almost at my oldest one. We're almost at the end here, guys. Anyone who's actually watching, like one person maybe gets it to the end. Yeah. I love that Batman. I don't care what anyone thinks. This is my second to last, or second to first. Um, October 1990. It's probably my brother. Maybe my dad got it from the store that he used to own. But. And here is the very first issue that I had. It wasn't the first is issue that I received. I believe the Gremlins one was that, but is the earliest issue I have. It was 40 cents. <laughs> September 1974, definitely falling apart. I still like looking through these. <laughs> Haven't lately, I'm afraid they're gonna really fall apart in my hands. So other than those 20 issues, I have this Mad cover to cover that shows every single cover that Mad ever had, um, including the 1974 one, which actually starts more closer to over here because Mad started in the 50s. Which, 50s, right? And this one other issue, which was a special loot crate edition of Mad. I don't know if it has a date on it though. Oh, well, Game of Thrones situation. You know, it's around the time of Game of Thrones, but this is copyright 2015. May 2015. There you go. May 2015. That's it for my Mad Magazines. If you really want to know what the backs of those were, it was one of them had to do with abortion and one of them had to do with little children going through metal detectors for the first day of school. So both dark. Besides that, I have a few issues of Cracked. Um, I have one as far back as 1992 and one as late as 95. So just really spanning three years, not that, not as dramatic. That's it. This was a simple video. Um, I've been in a bit of a funk. Uh, I don't know if you could tell. And whoever has been watching, uh, if it's family or friends, hi guys. If it's not family or friends, hi guys. And anyone else, hi. You want to subscribe? This is what I do. Um, random stuff. My son. I kind of just go all over the place. If you're interested in someone who's erratic and does strange things, hope to see more of you. I'm gonna go now. He's still awake. I have to go and tickle somebody. <laughs> Bye.